Chester Bartell is the owner of Bartell Farms and Freight. You own 3,000 acres of farmland out here in Morris, Manitoba, and you farm wheat and canola. So I understand that your farm was affected by the 2011 floods. Can you describe to me sort of how that impacted you, you, you and the farm? Yeah, it starts it starts early if you if you uh, realize that you possibly are getting a uh, going to be, be getting a flood. We uh, try to sell the grain ahead of time so we can get it out of the bins just in case there's a mishap with the ring dike not holding. Uh, so we sell it ahead of schedule, possibly leaving some money on the table because of uh, selling it too early. Hmm. So, yeah, we get ready for that, and, and then with the roads being uh, totally submersed then there's obviously you can't haul anything during that hmm. time so so you had said something really interesting to me you had said that it was around january is when you start to think about the upcoming growing season so it was january this year what went through your mind about potential for flooding well i went to my brother and said it's not melting it's and the forecast is cold for the uh, right till the end of march even looking at the farmer's almanac they were saying it was going to be a colder winter mm -hmm. they said I'd like to get all the grain sold before spring so we don't have to worry about uh, cleaning grain uh, out of bins during the uh, just before the flood hits but didn't quite meet our goal but we'll mm -hmm. hopefully get most of it out yeah so I had seen photos inside that you were showing me of water that was just like super high up just covering all of the farmland so the province is expecting that flooding will be an issue this year how is that going to affect you like what what could you lose this year well first of all if we fertilize in fall the, when the spring water gets uh, stands on the fields too long it starts uh, taking the the fertilizer out of the ground so we lose the fertilizer plus uh, it gets so soaked it takes a long time for it to dry out uh, which in turn makes it uh, late seeding and every day you uh, get later into the season you lose bushels at the end mm -hmm. so, yeah. and and that that is a huge financial loss for you guys as well isn't it yes some uh, some years like 1997 it was like 50 uh, percent less uh, uh, revenue on a year of 97. wow well, thank you so much for, for chatting with us today. Um, again, the province has talked about high potential for flooding this year, but they are coming out with statements uh, monthly uh, to try to figure out what the prediction is for this year.